So the first uh, topic, introduction to continuous models. Okay. So in modeling, we always talk about changes, changes in quantities, changes in velocity, changes of the number of cases of COVID-19, all about the changes. Okay. So the changes can be described with derivatives, pembezaan. Kalau dalam bahasa Melayu, uh, perubahan itu adalah uh, diformulasikan dalam bentuk pembezaan derivatives. Eh? In calculus, we learn derivatives. And the changes is related to other quantities via equations. So, uh, the phenomena of real life problem can be translated into uh, derivative equations and uh, it contains uh, some relations of several quantities. Right, differential equations are a natural way to describe dynamically changing systems. Okay, they arise in many contexts such as we have in physics, astronomy, geology, when people do the weather modeling or in chemistry, reaction risk. Okay? And uh, mathematical modeling also arise in biology, social sciences, and economics as well. So in this chapter, in this chapter, we will focus on the model with ordinary differential equation. We talk about continuous simulation. Continuous, the opposite of continuous is discrete. What does it mean by continuous? Okay. Continuous input, output, and state variables are defined over a range of time. But for this script, they are defined for T0, T1, T2. You can see from the um, graph here, this script, we have dot, 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 like this. We don't know the value in the middle of the consecutive dots. Okay? This is for this script. But continuous, we know, we will predict uh, as a curve. This is a curve and for the range, for the time range here, we know all the values. That's the difference between discrete and continuous. Okay? Simulating a system means to solve its mathematical model and predicts its behavior in different situations. Simulate. When we talk about mathematical modeling, okay, the other terms that is much related to model is simulation. We want models so that we can simulate. What is the meaning of simulation? Simulation means that uh, what the effect of, uh, if we change uh, some parameter, what is the effect to the uh, behavior? Is it increasing or is it decreasing? That is the meaning of simulation. We try to study the parameters changes and the effect to the whole model. Okay? That is simulation. Many important differential equations cannot be solved exactly. Okay, now we talk about the solution. For ODE, there are two types of solution. The first one is exact solution and the second one is um, numerical solutions. What are the difference between these two? Exact solution is the, uh, we call it an analytical solution. That is the real solution. But for, mod, for numerical, it is estimation. What is ordinary differential equations? Okay, definition. And ODE, ordinary differential equations, is an equation containing a function of one independent variable and its derivative. Okay. For example, dx dt. X is dependent. Sebab X ni yang bergantung kepada T. X is dependent, T is independent. Okay. For this example, dy dt. Perubahan Y terhadap T. Y is dependent, T is independent. This is ODE. But for PDE, we have this kind of notation. For example, del X dt plus del x del z equal to uh, 3x for example okay here the independent variables are two t and z okay when we have 
two independent variable is called as PDE. But if we have only one independent variable, we call it as ODE. Doctor. Yes. Uh, sorry. Uh, maybe it's some basic question. What, uh, the what is the difference between variable and derivatives? I mean, yeah. Because the first uh, example, the xpt equals to nine minus nine point eight. There is no x or t in the equation. So, yeah. so which one is the derivative? Uh, okay. Okay. Thank you for the questions. Okay. Look at the first example. Dx dt equal to negative nine point eight. What is the meaning of this equation? So Isaac Newton, there's an apple tree, apple yes. tree, this is apple. Okay. Yes, it falls down. Okay, how to, how to formulate, uh, how to formulate the fall of the, of the apple into mathematical equation? So, so Isaac Newton comes with this formula, dx dt, what is dx dt? x is a distance, right? dx dt. The change of distance with respect to time, this is velocity. Velocity. Velocity is halaju. The velocity is equal to the gravity. Okay, the gravity. So that's why in this simple example, it equals to negative 9.8. We have negative because what? Because it's in in negative direction. Okay, back to your question. What is variable? What is uh, derivatives? Okay, x. X is called as variables. We call as x as state variable. And dx dt, when we have uh, some equation like dx dt, this is derivative. Derivative means pembezaan. dy dt pun derivatives. Y is state variable. Variable apa yang kita gunakan? Perubahan apa? X ke Y ke itu variable. Dan T adalah independent. Independent variable means that it's not depends on anything. General form of ODE. Just now we, we, we look at the example of a very simple model. The SDT equal to negative 9.8. But there are many kinds of ODE. It depends on the situation. It depends on the project. So the general form can be written as F, T, Y, Y prime, comma, Y to the form. Okay, like this. Means that this one stands for any equations that have derivative. For example, dy, dt d 2 y dt square plus dy dt plus uh, plus sine sine y equal to 3 for example so this one we formulate as f we call it as f in general okay where y equal to yt and y to the power n denotes the n derivatives of y okay now t T is called independent variable. We repeat this. T is independent variables or time variable. N is the order of the equations. A system of couple differential equation is specified it's if y is a vector or function and f is a vector value function. Okay. okay, exact solution. Some but not all ODEs have solution that can be written in exact and closed form. When we have a very complicated model, very complicated functions, it depends, for, for example, the temperature depends on the thickness and the thickness depends on the moisture and the more, too many things to consider. We cannot uh, find the answer exactly. So we have to resort to numerical solution. So several techniques for exact solutions are Direct integration, separation of variable, Laplace transform, specialist method for classes of equations. So these are the techniques uh, in exact solutions. Okay. So remember, you must uh, your first priority is exact solution. We always looking forward for exact solution, but in some cases, if your function, if your model cannot be solved by exact you can use uh, numerical methods freely, okay? 
This is example of exact solutions. You have uh, equation of y derivatives equal to y. And here you apply integrations. Okay, the method is by using integrations. And then you integrate that. And lastly, you will get, you will get the exact solution. Okay, this is how we do exact solution of analytical solutions. On the other hand, numerical methods is most widely used. Okay. Continuous systems are usually modeled by using differential equations. Since many equations cannot be solved analytically, numerical methods are commonly employed. Okay. The goal is to predict future values of y by simulating the system behavior. So we will calculate a sequence of approximation y1, y2, y3 for y at consecutive points in time t0 plus h. And this is the discretized um, situation for numerical methods. Okay. H is called the step size. For example, in numerical uh, solution, we can use Euler method. This is very uh, popular. The most popular is Runge-Kutta method. And you can use backward differential formulas, Adams method, and so on.